Oh my god, why does everyone have such big boobs? Hello wonderful internet people, I'm Miss Ellie J, and today we are back playing Code Vein. If you remember the last time, we went up against the insatiable despot and managed to beat him quite handily on the third attempt. Still not sure if him not going into his second phase was a glitch, or if it's like a game mechanic, but in either case, he's over and done with now. We met the Hunter, who may or may not be called Jack. I suspect he is, just based on the memory we delved into. So today, we're going to see if we can't progress through the plot. Now, they said at the end of the Insatiable Despot fight that it was leading back to the Old City Ruins, and I did notice a path that I didn't take the last time, so this time I'm going to be taking that and hoping it leads to a new area. But, before we do that, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. We're also quickly going back to the home base, as there has been an update, a spooky update. Oh, the pumpkin hat. That would really ruin serious moments. I'm so tempted. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that'd be a look. Oh, I love that. Yes. Yes. Oh, we are totally having a cute little witch hat. I love it. That is the one. We're having a blue witch hat. Cerberus is a thing. What's Cerberus? I don't know if you can hear that, but one of the neighbours is currently banging and I'm assuming hammering something into a wall or constructing something and this is driving me insane. So we're back over here and I noticed this upon the first run through the game. I was exploring this area in the other direction and found my way to wherever I was. There's a big hole in the ground. And if I've learnt anything from playing video games, it's that the big hole in the ground, one, fall damage, two, the route forward. And somehow I don't think this convenient ladder is going to be... No, there's an item that you blatantly have to fall to, so... Let's just have a quick shifty in what I'm assuming is a little safe area. Which gives me a map. Helpful. Or not. So there's only so much a map can do when what you need to do to progress is like fall your way down the hole. So it's like, it's just the circle. So let's figure out which way we need to fall. I want the item. I assume that's the indicator to let you go forward. Cue montage of me just falling to my death trying to get down here. Uh, courage, suicidal overconfidence. Oh, whoops. Yeah, exactly like that. Oh! Thanks, Louis. What a strange place. And this will be my door to before, back up there. Oh, that's handy. At least you only have to fall down once. Hi, Louis. Oh, how did he tell... Do you think they'll ever teach me how I can teleport around to people? That'd be nice. So we're going to continue on Spelunking Simulator because the routes between areas seem to just be long, relatively boring corridors. Which is fine. It's nice to not have to fear for my life constantly. And here we are. This is a cutscene. Are they going to tell me what it is? That'd be nice. <laughs> that witch hat looks so cute. Oh, there's fires, okay. Oh, we've got fog mechanics now. Let's take a break here. A fog mechanic's gonna be a thing. I'm not gonna be able to see where I'm going next. That'd be inconvenient. Oh, this? It's called onigiri. It's the kind of food that's easy to carry around. Why are you eating it when you're a vampire? There's any point in eating food for a revenant. Relevant doesn't answer my question. Although we may thirst for blood, we never grow hungry. Still, I think that makes eating all the more meaningful for us. 
This just opens more questions. Like, do they have a digestive tract that's not just for blood? Does it just sit inside of the body and... Is it like, um, what was he called in Torchwood? Owen. Was it Owen? Who went drinking then had to stand on his head so he could get it all back out of his system again because it wasn't going anywhere. Like a clone doppelganger, or...? I'd look like a revenant, but on the inside I'd be no different than the lost. What's the point of living like that? So I'm gonna have to go find his memories as well, aren't I? Back before I became a revenant, we always used to eat these things when we were out on missions. Not military rations? Yes. It helps me remember. It was a miserable time. I need some good friends that I shouldn't let myself forget. Not like Louie did in the last episode. This stuff doesn't really taste that great. Eating it always reminds me of those friends. I can't relate. If something doesn't taste good, I stop so, eating it. I guess you could say it helps me stay in. It's been an important companion in my life. So is he just eating the same one for the rest of the game, or does he have like a supply of them? Because it'd be hilarious if he just kept taking like a tiny bite out of one. On. Just the same Let's one. There's a blood spring up ahead. Fabulous. Be careful not to lose your bearings, all right? If we get split up in this mist, we may never be able to find each other again. No, I'm fairly certain the game mechanics will just make you teleport back to me in that trick that I want them to show me how to do. So, ooh. Do you suppose we can operate this? I assume so, because there's an interaction button. Okay, so is that going to make it actually easier to explore the area or is it just something that I can see in the distance? Oh, is this is this area going to get like randomly deeper and I'll slow to a crawl? That would be annoying. I see a large boy over here. Oh no, he just sunk down. Does that mean I'm about to sink down? Oh no. Slow walking mechanics and fighting. And lots of enemies. Can I take them one at a time? I think I can. Is Louis being helpful? It looks like he is. Okay, I think we're safe for now. I do wonder why, like, spooky scary swamps are a staple of video games nowadays. Like, what game was the first game that made the spooky scary swamp the staple? Who wasn't hugged enough as a child? It looks like there's a large boy over there. Oh, and a vestige. See, that's the downside of wielding those great swords. It's really hard to get a hit off. Oh, assassin. We don't have an assassin yet, do we? So, if this game has taught me anything, it means we're going to pick up the assassin blood code somewhere in this area, which is nice. Honestly, at this point, I'm just running off in random directions and hoping that I find the way. Seems like these enemies only take two hits to stagger, which is quite nice as well. Let's head back up now. Oh, another... But not an ambush. Ouch bit slow on the dodge there. But there is a treasure chest, so that's nice. Ooh, GXM variant, plus three. See, my issue with it is it's going to make my weapon mobility like drop down to slow, and I don't want that at the moment because I'm currently at normal. I haven't found anything that increases it to fast yet, but I am eager to, to see what it's like. Yeah, so it seems kind of redundant to put something like Venom on when you're in a swamp because it's like... Would these enemies not just generally... Oh, no. Not while I have no stamina. Would these enemies not just generally either inflict or... Ouch. I will end that thought when I'm not being... Oh, backstab. When I'm not being accosted by things. That I still don't really know what they are. They look like giant bug things. Like, do the Revenants have something in common with bugs as well? That'd be interesting. Oh, another vestige! So 
So you can see from the map, we've sort of gone a bit circular around this area to try to figure out which is the way forward. It's very, very windy. I'm not mad at windy, but... Oh, blood spring. And can I get the vestige before I do the blood spring? Or is it gonna... Oh, and a missile. Yay. We are progressing. Oh, I couldn't get the vestige before a cutscene. I was really hoping there wouldn't be a cutscene. Like, we're not just activate the blood spring and move on with life. How many times can you watch the same cutscene over and over? I do quite like the dramatic almost Phoenix Wright. Objection! Why aren't you dropping blood beads? Alright, I'm currently tracing the spring's flow. Just hold on, give me a moment. I wish I had a witch's hat to put on right now. That'd be like. I'd be twinning with my character. Except I'm a blonde this week. What's going on here? We have to go back to the old city ruins. There must be something we missed there. Why does it keep on telling me back? What have I missed anyway, in the old city ruins? Oh, what's this? She looks Russian. And like awesome as well, but primarily Russian. Searching for blood beads on your own? That's awful. Listen. No one here wants this to turn. You attacked me! Hand over your blood beads. What if we don't want to? Oh, I have one of those! Oh no, a child! A kid? Get away from Mia! She's called Mia. Nicola! Nicola, okay. Because you... <coughs> oh, the child is dying as well, He's wonderful. On the verge of a frenzy. That's why you want the blood beads, isn't it? Oh, no. So the child can turn into a lost as well. Wait, does this mean that child died at some point and then someone thought, oh, I'm going to turn this kid into a revenant instead of, I don't know, letting them rest in peace and not, like, subjecting them to the horrors and terrors of this universe? No. You haven't had anything to drink, Mia. Aww. Don't be silly. Go on. It's for you. I don't know who the kid is, but I like the kid. Oh, so it's literally just empty of blood. That's interesting. Symptoms aren't fading. Why is he taking off the mask? It's Why is she taking off her mask? I I just have to find more for him. Hey, come and now they've got the masks. Going out on your own is crazy. Whatever. Thanks for your concern, but we'll be alright. Come on, let's go. I mean that jacket is awesome. There's one thing this game got right, it's jackets. So, I don't think... Yeah, I know. Let's go after them. So not back to the old city ruins now. Okay. Let's go exploring again. Since I doubt they've left a path for me, that would be far too convenient. Well, I'm going to grab that vestige now. Like I, even care about that. I feel like I'm going to need to plunging attack this guy. Oh, what's that? <laughs> Are you kidding me, Atlas. We don't have Atlas yet, do we? Oh, I bet she's going to give me the assassin and Atlas will come from the boss of the area. That's my guess. While we plunging attack. Oh, or not. I forgot for a second I wasn't playing Bloodborne. So are these things just lying down under the water in the hopes that someone walks past? Because that strikes me as silly. Oh, 
Oh, it all loops it back round again. I'm going to get horrifically lost. I anticipate if these things actually got an attack off, they'd be quite dangerous. Like, I feel like they would just stagger lock you. But I also didn't let them get an attack off, so I guess I'll never find out. Anti-Venom, if this is anything like most games, that's like a hint that I'm going to need Anti-Venom. Uh, can't really tell where it wants me to go. I guess I'm going to go this way round. I mean, I've not been this way round, so it makes sense. Seriously, did, are they just... I suppose it's quite an efficient method if you're a predator to hide underwater where nothing can... Not a lot of room to dodge, and also... This is going to suck. Oh. Oh, double owl. Please, please wake me up. Thank you. I need to unleash heck on this thing. Please get me up again. Nope. Okay, well. Never mind. Who thought putting a large enemy somewhere where you can't manoeuvre very well was a good idea? So, let's try to navigate our way back so we can pick up our lost souls. Gimme them souls. Oh, it's Hayes, sorry. I like to just strafe around it, and you might get the backstab, you might not. It's a great mechanic. Ah, oh, that went much better. Because it must be guarding something, they wouldn't put a large enemy there for no reason. Oh, a, a, a thingy. Vestige. Is that the only thing that's around this area? I am horrifically lost. So where is there to go next? Oh, I've not been around near the bottom. I suppose that I could go that way. He really wants me dead. Two guys. This could be interesting. Let's do it. This sword does not have as much range as I thought it did. So we must have most of the Atlas vestiges by now. Spooky, scary shadows. I was going to say skeletons, but those ain't skeletons. <laughs> they look kind of emaciated, though. We're back to where we were. Oh no, there's a whole part of the map that I've supposedly not been to yet. Let's go exploring some more. So yeah, this area gives me like really strong Farron Keep vibes, except that it's nice that just walking on the ground isn't poisonous. I assume loads of these enemies, like they keep on breathing out purple something, so I assume they're poison attacks. So the missile's back over there, I can see it. And there's the blood spring over there. And a doll. Interesting. And that's some of the items... That, there must be a thing around here somewhere to give me a map. Should I just head back to the original... I'm so lost! Oh, God! Oh, no! Mobbed! I'm being mobbed! How am I being mobbed? How is everything in the area suddenly aggroed against me? Ow. Please wake me up. No, that's a lot of haste to lose. All I really need to do is just go pick up my haze again. Which is literally right there. And then maybe a next sweet, sweet vengeance on all the enemies. Yeah, I, I deserve that. So yes, yeah, so we're back to being lost. Oh, loading the map in this area see, feels like a mistake, but... Like, there's an item in the top left corner. I don't even look to see how much haze these things are getting. You know what would be great? Being able to talk like a normal human being. I see slimes. I see weird bug guys. Do not see the way to progress. So there's loads of areas around there, but it doesn't seem to tell me where I'm actually needing to be going. Apart from there's an item in the top left corner. I don't understand. Am I supposed to go back to the old city ruins at this point? 
50% says I've only found two of the missiles. So there must be more to this area that I just I can't see. So where does this missile actually bring me? That brings me there. So let's go to the top right left. I, you know what? Even like when I'm driving, I have to do that so I know whether I'm going left or right. I saw another large boy. What the hell are they? Yes, another large boy. Come on, kill it. Yes, right. Oh, oh, ow. Oh, what the crap? Ow. Oh, these guys are not my favorite. Right, I can see another vestige. Code on a Riki. Oh, who's Riki? This way, maybe? Oh, there's one of those spiky boys that I do not like. Ow! Oh, I was. I absolutely deserved that for just trying to run past that. Oh, they take a bit of punishment as well, these things. Oh, is that a map? That'd be great for me right now. They can spit things at me? Oh, that explains the venom, though. Okay, we have a map. Great. Use it well. In case you're wondering where I am, uh, that's a very good question. I'm in the top left corner. Does this mean I've explored the area now? Howling Pit, 66%. What is there more to explore? The nearest missile is ages away as well. That's the map so far, and as you can see from the dots, I have been all over that area of the map trying to figure out where to go, when really I should have noticed that there was a path down that I didn't take earlier. Did you see this I didn't, thank you for pointing it out. That area looks suspiciously open. Look, the water level is oh! Hey. Bet that's only a temporary thing. Oh, have we got... Oh, ledges. Oh, is this going to be like the dried up trenches all over again? Because I hated that area. Again, I do not have as much range on this sword as I thought I did. Oh, okay. Are we underneath Rabinasta? He was not that far from the thing that I needed to use the key on. That's convenient. Oh, is that going to be the thing for this area? I need to go and find things with the keys. I don't know why I was putting so many pauses in between what I was saying there. And now, what the diddly heck is that? Oh, that thing has a lot of health. Oh, and does a lot of damage. Okay. Sorry, Louis, I am coming to help you fight the... That's very bright. And I have a ring light in my face, and that's very bright. Another key? Okay, so I was right. We're going around fighting the tougher enemies to find keys to progress with the area. Fabulous. I love it. Just like any RPG. I like the slimes a little, like the worshipping a bunch of, like, old tyres. That's just quite funny. So is there an explanation for the slimes? Like, is that what a lost will eventually degrade into? Like, they'll go one of two ways. They'll either turn into one of those hulking great guys, or they'll be one of these weird little slime things. Oh, they can stomach bounce you. Don't worry, my method of fighting some of these enemies is absolutely let Louie do the heavy lifting, and I'll do the easy bit. Ah, no, those things. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Oh, great, you can lure them over the edge. I am at a point where every time I open a chest, I either expect there to have been like a really difficult enemy before it, or like an ambush. I hope mimics aren't a thing in this game. I see the vestige. There's the ambush, okay. No pushing me off the edge, Louie. I see that's what you were trying to do. Right, so let's carry on exploring. This area is just quite windy. Like, if you look at where I've gone since I came into this new area, it's a bit all over the place. If I don't find a missile soon, this area is going to suck. Is that a new sword? Ooh, it's a katana. It is all around weaker than what I have equipped right now. What's it look like? Eh. I mean, it's sexy. Most swords in this game are sexy. But we'll stick with the broadsword for now. This area seems suspect. Nope, I don't care that there's a treasure chest there. I, oh, missile, yay! Okay, we are at a dead end. That is nice. Okay, so is that the map complete? It looks like that's the map complete-ish. So, wait, no, there was another path to go down. I know there's a treasure chest that could down there. Can I target those things from here? Oh, there's a lot of those things. Let's just reset the area. See if we can't get the jump on them. Okay, I wouldn't describe that so much as getting the jump on them as, um... Annoying one of them, but... These things are a pain to fight when it's, um... It's difficult to walk. The Impaler! Oh, the number of jokes I could be making right now. What's the Impaler? It is a spear. A thin spear with a sharp head. Ladies. Oh, that doesn't sound ominous at all. Am I going to get a cutscene before I manage to touch that? Take your bets now. We've managed to touch the thing. Is that a boss area? Because that's what it looks like. So we're meeting up with the hunter again, it looks like, from a distance. That's exciting. Oh, he's got blue eyes. I have blue eyes when I glow. I really want to learn that trick. Did he kill the child? No. <gasps> oh, no. From cutscene straight into boss. What is it? Some sort of... Shark? It fired a thing at me? Oh! A pole dancer! Okay, I know I made a lot of jokes, but I didn't expect to fight a literal stripper. That's not right. Strippers and pole dancers are two completely different careers. Invading executioner. That doesn't sound friendly. Oh, 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 oh. At least I can heal again. As I envision this going poorly. Quick, go ham! She's staggered! Oh, ow, oh. Oh no, what's slow? What does slow do? I can't heal slow. Oh, I do feel a little bit slower. 
Oh, I'm absolutely. Oh, wow. That that sucks. Oh, this fight is going poorly. I'm gonna have to get a thing. Yeah, that's yeah. Okay. Um. I just got soundly beat down by a pole dancer, and that is not a phrase I ever expected to say in my life. Okay, let's try again. Oh, ow, oh, she's got a lot of range on that thing. The spear has a long range, who would be surprised by this apart from me? Oh, no, get out of the way. That spin attack comes out of nowhere. I really need to get in the fight. Every time I get in the fight, she does that attack. Oh, we're both down. Oh, right, okay. That that was not fun. I don't know if Venom is a thing that I can inflict on her, but I'm going to give it a go anyway. I was going to say please target Louis just for a second while I get rid of Slow, but nope, that wasn't going to be a thing that happened. Oh, great, we're on our own. Oh, that didn't go any better than the last time. Okay. Um, that spin attack seems inconvenient. Am I going to get closer and she's going to start spinning straight away? I hope not. Oh, you can inflict venom on her. Oh, is it? Oh, I think I get it. Like, it's the water that causes slow. Yeah, that was absolutely my own stupid fault. I'm trying to back off and heal. Please don't come near me. Louis, I just need to hold out for just a little bit longer. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Come on! No! We are so close! No. I was really confident that time, I really thought we were going to do it. Okay, we're trying something just a little bit different this time. I've switched over to the caster, and I've just quickly rejigged my abilities again to see if we can't do this in a more ranged fight because the biggest difficulty I've found so far is the fact that getting close is fatalistic at best. Of course he has. Oh, I wish I had some eye call right now. Oh, we're so close. Right, I think I'm onto the right strategy this time, though. I think I've got it. Yeah, okay. We might not be about to beat her on this one. I'm okay with that. I don't want to use my last... Oh, crap. I didn't want to use my last heal, but I don't see that I've got too much of a choice here. That, that attack is cheap as hell. So I don't even have any haze or any haze that I can pick up. that would let me go and like level up or something. Fireball could afford to do more damage. I don't know if getting my distance there is helping me or hurting me, to be honest. Dodge, Louis. I know you can do it.
Get out of the way. Oh, come on. Let's not get too greedy. Yeah, so her sliding attack comes out of nowhere whenever it comes out, which is really annoying. Yes, queen! We did it! And you're always on the right idea with that whole playing. Oh my god. Right. Cutscene time! Oh yeah, Nikolai's dead. And he left behind the fa- oh no. That looks more painful than usual. What's happening? I'd almost missed the soft plinky music. Mia, I'll be back. Sorry, but it's time. You should sleep so late, you know. Why is Jack part of this memory? After he just killed a poor, I'm assuming, defenseless child. Is that Nicola with Jack? This seems sketchy. Yeah, I'm sure. I want to keep him in Apparently not enough to not kill the child. Snow's interesting. We've not seen snow in this game yet. But that's apparently the end of the memory. I don't know how I feel about that whole exchange. That's what I'm asking. What do you want to bet we end up going to that snowy mountain at some point? That's what I'm asking. Oh no, is she going lost as well? Oh no, I liked her. That looks painful. So is that what happens when they don't drink for long enough? Like, they sort of, like, start having a, a fit? I'm glad that's not a game mechanic. Where is this the snowy mountain? Because that looks like the area we fought the butterfly. Good question. Was this part of the memory again? See, look, it looks like... Actually, that could be anywhere. But it sort of looks like the area where we fought the butterfly, because the cocoon and the... As far as dream sequences go, that wasn't the most traumatic I've seen in a video game. She looks better. I understand fashion is important and you need to look good at all times. And I understand this is Japanese, but she's wearing 
leg warmers, mm -hmm. but also a mini skirt and what looks like a garter belt. So it's like, are, do only your feet get cold? Oh, is that... That's M Murasame, isn't it? Ladies, don't you hate it when your straps keep on falling down? Oh, they kept... They kept the kids' hat. Okay, sorry, no, I can't suspend my disbelief for this long. She would have fixed her, the strap on her top by now. Didn't take long for Louis to find it. Oh, is she going to become a party member now? That'd be cool. I'd love a party member with ranged options. I forgot about my hat again. The key to finding the source is there. That's all I can say for certain. I wouldn't even be that certain about this whole thing. Like, yeah, that's the point I was going to make. That one I couldn't interact with last time. I see. So that's it. She still hasn't finished the strap. What? I don't know why I just used the word finished when I meant fixed, but that's because I can't speak. Please repay me by pulling up the strap of your top. I will do anything if you pull up your strap. Oh, it's giving me anxiety. It might well be, but it's really hard to pay attention to plot things when there's something distracting you like that. I'd love to tell you if I knew. I'm not sure of the path there myself. Other than that, it's sealed, it's sealed off, off by my ass. Oh no, I guess we can't go. I see. Sorry, I don't mean to make demands of you. It's not impossible, though. I'm about to be volunteered for a suicide mission again, aren't I? Really I? Pass through through my eyes now. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks to our, our friend, friend here. Yep. If you decide, if you decide to, stay to stay with us, I'm sure, I'm sure we'll find a way to your snowy mountain eventually. Eventually, like, you know, entropy takes oh, us all eventually. You would need to help us out with our objective first. Always a catch. She said yes too quickly. She has no self-preservation skills. Like, we might be about to ask her to, like, run headlong into an ambush of, like, 50 greater lost. And she just agreed to do it. I bet there's, like, some weird, like, revenant rule that says if you agree to something, you have to do it as well. I guess that's so then. You are now officially one of our friends. I don't know if I would go that far. Friends? I'm Yakumo. This brainiac here is Louie. And... Huh? Where Murasame and Eo get to. I mean, if that's okay. What about the paladin? I'm sure there was someone else up here. I'm sure I don't have a human lurking around somewhere. Actually, I don't think we've gotten your name yet. Do we need to set like ground rules here as well and be like, no eating the human, I don't care how desperate you get. Mia Karnstein. He doesn't look any worse for wear though. Okay, my friends are way too trusting. Are the way gonna send her on like a death mission or 
Like, she's going to backstab us because she realised that we're way too trusting. I can't, in good conscience, shake someone's hand if their strap is falling off their shoulder. I'm so mad about this. Of all the things we're mad about, like, even fighting that boss, I think we did it seven times altogether. I wasn't mad about that, but that bra strap, strap. It's so mad I can't even say the word strap anymore. I'm sure she's getting more naked as well. She was doing something with the gear? I don't remember her saying anything. Probably, I'm sure that's what the end of the game is going to be. No, a friendly lost came and dropped it off. Oh my god, I ship it. Uh, she's like that with everyone. Just smile and nod and it'll be fine. Why is she touching things? There's gonna be a thing somewhere in this game where it turns out that she's like a really capable fighter, isn't there? And without that. I swear her boobs are getting bigger as well. Where would we be? Murasami seems like she's got a normal sized chest, so why does Eo have such a large one? Especially when she looks like a, like a teenager. Give me a break. And don't look at me like that. It's no big deal, okay? Uh, My friends are important. They're like family to me. So is he eating on a gear, eh? My friends were all scattered after the Great Collapse. I'm not saying he's got weird priorities or anything, but I... Any of them survived. You know what, we'll just move on from that. But every time we go somewhere new, I keep an eye out for them. Anyway, I count myself lucky. I'm sure these cutscenes are getting longer. Back when I became revenant. Honestly... I was right at the brink of losing myself. It was my friends that pulled me back, kept me safe. <laughs> but just a sound of fools. I'll keep you safe. No matter what happens. I'm not saying he's my least favourite character, but he's the one that I switch off from when he starts speaking. I don't know if I'm insulted that it just referred to me as a sheep or not. Don't worry about it. Well, you're in awfully high, high spirits. spirits. She's the one that, now that I've seen her, I know she's got the non vampire name, but she's got the makeup that makes her look closest to what I would expect of, like, an anime vampire to look like. Oh my god, why does everyone have such big boobs? Those don't even look like they obey biology. Friends. I'm uncomfortable again. I suppose you're right. So we've got two characters that have got absolutely massive honkers, and we've also got the girl who refuses to fix the strap of a t-shirt, and then you've got Murasami, who's probably like winning the competition as my favourite character just because everyone else at this point has abdicated. I'd just like to establish at this point that I am actually really enjoying playing this game. It's a really thoroughly entertaining game to play. It's just the right balance between difficult and fun. It strikes me that it wouldn't take a lot. <laughs> yeah, so when I'm fighting a boss and I keep on getting like beaten by the boss, 
it is it does feel more like I'm having to figure out the strategies of what's going on and it's the whole throw yourself at it so you can learn the boss's tells and how to do it and what's going to be the best way of getting around it and then as you learn it the fight actually becomes like it makes more sense and it becomes challenging but rewarding when you do manage to do it so even though some of these bosses are taking me you know five six seven eight times it actually feels satisfying to have beaten it ignoring the butterfly because i still think the butterfly is cheap as hell the other bosses so far have actually been really thoroughly enjoyable challenges. I'm going to guess sadness because I wasn't actually listening to her. It's me! Off a cliff! Oh, finally we're done. That's a brilliant place to leave this off. Thank God. So, what have we accomplished today? We got horrifically lost in the... Was it called the Howling Pit? I think it was called the Howling Pit. Yeah, we got very lost and cycled around there for approximately 45 minutes. Finally found our way out. Met the... I've already forgotten what the boss was called. The Invading Executioner? I don't remember. And seven attempts later, managed to beat it. I think that's more than enough for one episode. Well, that was a confusing ride around the Howling Pit. I'm glad that's over with. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be updated every time I upload a new video. If you want to see me exploring the dried up trenches and fighting the insatiable despot, click this video on the left. If you want to see what we did last time in Bloodborne, click this video on the right.